Best save. Oh, Dominic Hasek. Yeah. Uh, how much time you got? He just robbed Jansen Wine! Call it Klopp! Oh, what an enormous save by Hasek! Backhand in front! Hasek with the miraculous save! Oh, brother, we are not worthy! Yeah, we weren't worthy at a lot of those saves. I think it's the greatest gift any coach could have is a goaltender of his of his magnitude. He revolutionized the position. Um, nobody did what he did. But I think the one that I remember is when the puck goes side to side and he's on his back and he does this with his pads just go up this way, the opposite way, and he makes the save. Incredible. So many teams walked away saying, it's not right, we should have won that game. Tom made an incredible save. I believe was Mario Lebeau. And Schick came over and opened up Dom's glove as if to say, you got it? And everybody was like, oh, that was such a lucky save. This guy had a method to his movements, to his madness. It was his preparation. I, I, I never played with anybody who practiced harder than Dominic Hasek and had more attention to detail. He would keep track of who scored how many goals on him in practice. Maybe one or two goals went in, he would you know, he would wave everybody back. He would take his helmet off and then stop the whole practice and challenge the guy who scored and said, listen, let's go. He wouldn't let you leave the ice. He'd say, no, no, you gotta come and shoot on me some more. Like, you, you could never leave the ice scoring on him. He always had to win. What else I can say about it? It was fun. <laughs> By the way, goaltenders, I don't know if you've heard, they're weird birds, every single one of them. He's, he's highly superstitious. Always had to have his fingernail clippers in his stall. Like, we'd have to Velcro him in every city. He would come out and do those splits. Ah, oh, we're not built to do stuff like that. He'd be on his knees in front, and he'd ask you to shoot it just for a shoulder so he can use his head to deflect pucks. I don't know. If I hit him in the head, I certainly wasn't trying to. OK, he asked me to shoot in his head so well. <laughs> Dominic could never figure out how much sugar to put in the coffee. But he had to have eight packages of sugar. And then he'd stir it, drink it, and then make 55 saves. I think Dominic Hasek's the best saber of all time. He was the most dominant player in the world at that time, absolutely. No, he was, he was one and only. I don't think you'll ever see anybody like him again.